हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर रिस्क एंड सिस्क हार्वर्ड एंड वैन ह्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड ए माइक्रो कंट्रोलर माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज द कोर ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज द कोर ऑफ एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इफ यू से माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज ए कोर ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम विच मीन्स इट इज ए हार्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड अगेन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज द हार्ट ऑफ एम्बेडेड सिस्टम माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज जस्ट ए प्रोसेसर where memory and io components have to be connected externally microcontroller has external processor along with memory and io components so microprocessor is just a processor it does not consist of memory or io component so memory and io component have to be connected externally microcontroller has external processor along with memory as well as io components so microcontroller consist of memory and io components since io component has to be connected externally the circuit becomes large since memory and io components are present internally the circuit is small microprocessor cannot be used in compact devices microcontroller can be used in compact devices if we say compact devices which means small devices so microprocessor cannot be used in small devices small size devices and microcontroller can be used in small size devices cost of entire microprocessor is more cost of microcontroller is less since memory and io components are connected externally the entire power consumption is high in microcontroller there are no external components are connected that's why power consumption is very less microprocessor consist of less number of resistors and microcontroller consist of more number of resistors microprocessor is based on von neumann architecture microcontroller is based on harvard architecture microprocessors are mainly used as personal computers microcontroller are mainly used in application specific systems like washing machine and mp3 players now let us understand the difference between risk and cisc architecture here risk stands for reduced instruction set computer and cisc stands for complex instruction set computer the risk architecture consists of simple instruction set that take only one cycle for its operation cisc architecture consists of complex instruction set that take multiple cycle for its operation risk architecture consists of very few instructions cisc architecture consists of more instructions risk architectures are executed by hardware cisc instructions are executed by micro programs risk architecture consists of fixed format instructions cisc architecture consists of variable format instructions risc architecture consists of few addressing modes cisc architecture consists of many addressing modes risc architecture consists of multiple register sets cisc architecture consists of single register set in risc architecture we find complexity in compiler in cisc architecture we find complexity in microprogram risc architecture are highly pipelined cisc architecture cannot be pipelined 
or we can say it can be less pipelined. Now let us understand the difference between Harvard architecture and Van Neumann architecture. In Harvard architecture, the CPU is connected separately with RAM and ROM. In Van Neumann architecture, CPU is connected to single memory which consists of both RAM and ROM. So, CPU of Harvard architecture is connected separately with RAM and ROM and CPU of Van Neumann architecture is connected to single memory which consists of both RAM and ROM. The speed is faster in Harvard architecture. In Van Neumann architecture, speed is less because instructions and data should be fetched differently or separately. For Harvard architecture, more space is required. For Van Neumann architecture, less space is required. In Harvard architecture, there are separate bus to fetch data and instruction. In Van Neumann architecture, there is common bus to fetch data and instruction. Harvard architectures are used in single processors or in microcontrollers. Van Neumann architectures are used in small size computers. In Harvard architecture, single clock cycle is required to execute an instruction. In Van Neumann architecture, two clock cycle is needed to execute an instruction. Harvard architecture are more expensive. Van Neumann architecture are somewhat cheaper compared to Harvard architecture. This is about the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller, RISC and CISC architecture and Harvard and Van Neumann architecture. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.